Let's configure a remote access VPN to our local area network and let's do it in several simple steps. Coming up. All right, so we need to configure a remote access VPN that is a dial-up uh, VPN towards our 40 gate. We are using a 40 client for that purpose. All right, so the very first thing that we will do, we will create a new user, which will be our VPN user. Let's just name it VPN, apply a password, next, submit. Let's now create a user group. Let's just name that VPN users, and the member will be our VPN user. All right, the very next thing that we will do is to head over to VPN IPsec Wizard. Let's name our VPN remote access and let's make it a remote access VPN. Now we will choose client base since we're using a 40 client. We are not using a native Android or iOS client. We will use our 40 client as the client. Next. The incoming interface is our WAN interface. The authentication that we will use is a pre-shared key. So let's just use a pre-shared key and the user group is our VPN users. Next, the local interface, as we have said, is the LAN interface. The local address is the, let's just there it is, the local network. I've actually created an address object for that uh, specific subnet. And the range will be 10.8.2.1. Um, up to 10.8.2.24. That will be our range. We will use the same DNS server. We will enable IPv4 split tunnel. And let's move to next. Save password, auto connect. We will not auto connect to our VPN. Next. And there it is. So let's just create that. Now it is being set up so we can look at the tunnel list. And let's just look at the different configuration. All right. We can look at the firewall policy that was created automatically. Uh, the incoming interface is our VPN uh, towards our LAN. We're using a remote access range, which we have configured. That's for our source. And the destination is our local network. Okay, so let's open up 40 client. So let's configure our VPN, VPN, IPsec VPN. The connection name will be VPN remote. Let's just use our when interface as the remote gateway, enter our pre-shared key, and let's just save that. All right, now let's just use our username and password and connect. All right, and there we have it. We're connected, and as you can see, we got an IP address from the range that we have configured. Currently, it is 10.8.2.1.